I got another racist Karen story for you. Technically a Kevin, but first, my name's Ronan GT. I tell stories about catching shoplifters, and I can be a little petty. If you're new around here, smash that plus and give me a follow. But let's go. So while I was an AP manager, I got an anonymous tip that one of my cashiers was letting people have stuff for free. And this gentleman told me that he didn't think it was right and wanted to report it. It was a little suspicious from the start because he had specific details about the cashier. So over a course of two weeks, I did my job and I investigated the cashier. And I honestly found no signs of theft. The gentleman did leave me his phone number, so I called him back and told him that I appreciated it, but I didn't see any signs of theft. Later that day, he came into the store and confronted me, showing me receipts and pictures of the items that he'd gotten for free. But this is where he screwed up. I was able to get times, dates, and register numbers off the receipts, and I thanked him and told him I would continue to investigate and update him. Using this new information, I found the times he went through this young lady's register, and I also realized that he always used the same credit card when he paid. Almost every time he would check out, he would go through this young lady's register. But I still saw no signs of theft, nor did I see the items he said he got for free in his cart. At this point, I was confident that our cashier wasn't stealing. So using the cameras, I printed off a picture of the gentleman, and I took it to the cashier and showed her. When she saw the picture, she damn near burst out in tears. She explained to me that this was her neighbor, and that she had just moved into a new neighborhood with her and her husband and her kids. Now, our cashier was white, but her husband was black, and the neighbor had made it very vocal that he did not agree with her relationship with him, and that he had been harassing her and her husband at the house. And he would often sit out on the front porch with his laptop and do his work while he let the children play in the front yard or the backyard. And the neighbor had called the cops on them multiple times for this, claiming they were a noise nuisance. It apparently had gotten so bad that the kids were even afraid to go out and play. She said that the neighbor had found out where she worked and had been coming through her line for a number of weeks. She said that he was always intentionally rude to her, trying to trigger her into saying something. But she never did and never reported it out of fear of losing her job. But she swore to me that she would never give anything for free, especially to him. And I believed her. So with this new information, I went back to investigating. And this time I followed him around. After he would leave her register, he would go back into the store, select other merchandise that he didn't pay for, and walk out the door with it. But he would always try to flash his receipt at the door, almost as if he wanted to get caught so he could blame it on the cashier. At this point, I had enough evidence. And I had had him on camera stealing about $1,000 worth of merchandise over a course of three weeks. So I made some phone calls and arranged some things with my local PD. That was on a Friday. I found the cashier and I asked her if she was off on Monday. She said she was. And I told her I wanted her to take money and enjoy the day. Sit out on the front porch, let the kids play, and let her husband work. She was confused, but she did it. Monday afternoon came along and the cashier and her husband came in the store. She gave me a big hug and he shook my hand. Apparently the neighbor called the police for them being outside. But when the police got there, they arrested him for theft and took his ass off to jail. Mmm, it's the petty for me. If you stuck around this long, double tap the screen and give this video a like. And share this with a petty friend. Again, if you're new around here, smash that plus and give me a follow. And don't forget I have a backup account. And follow me over on Instagram and YouTube. Links in bio. Stay petty, my friends. I love y'all. Have a great day.